Well, today, according to the international guidelines, uh, both European and American guidelines, there is very limited uh, room for combination therapy. Um, if you think in terms of combination of two nukes, uh, like in Chekhov and Tenofovir, in naive patients, uh, there is no strong study or robust study to suggest that the novo combo with Tenofovir plus and Tecavir is uh, uh, more effective than either monotherapy and Tecavir or Tenofovir. Uh, and that's the reason why all guidelines are suggesting tenofovir monotherapy or entecavir monotherapy in naive base. Although there's been a new study being published this month on gastroenterology suggesting that there could be a subset of E-antigen positive high viral load patients who might require, a, uh, can we say, a super combo from the beginning. But this is the first study is showing a marginal benefit for the novo combo compared to entecavir monotherapy. The study did not include the tenofovir monotherapy arm. So uh, from the practical point of view, I think uh, there is no strong indication to use a, a combo in naive patients. Uh, there was another interesting study recently published of a de novo combo in patients with decompensated liver disease. The question was, if liver disease is very severe, uh, should we use a de novo combo like tenofovir plus uh, uh, M3-trisabine compared to tenofovir monotherapy? Again, the answer is no. There is no indication that a de novo, this type of de novo combo with two nukes is much better than tenofovir mono or entecavir mono in decompensated. Um, uh, the, the second possible use of combo is really in patients during nuke therapy with a partial response. Partial response means PCR positivity at year one on tenofovir and tecavir. Again, um, some guidelines are suggesting that you can use a, a combo, uh, which means if the patient is on entecavir, add on tenofovir and vice versa. But there are, there are really very few data and literature. Um, from my point of view, I don't think we really need a combo. You probably just need to switch from one drug to the other, uh, keep monotherapy. And this is really an issue uh, for very few patients. Uh, the third setting uh, of a possible use of the novel or combo is the uh, setting of resistance. You know, because in the past, when tenofovir was not available, everybody was rescued with a defovir plus amibudin or a defovir plus a nucleoside. But now things have changed. A defovir is not used anymore. Tenofovir is available. So new guidelines are suggesting that you do not need anymore a combination when you rescue for resistance to entecavir or lamibudin or telvibudin. Tenofovir monotherapy is enough, and this is a big change a huge change compared to previous guidelines. Um, for a day for the resistance, uh, most of the patients uh, could be rescued by entecavir monotherapy, except for those who develop resistance after lamivudine exposure. In this, tenofovir is probably necessary plus a nucleoside, and the best nucleoside is entecavir. So the, the, there is a, a room for a tenofovir plus entecavir combination in those uh, we call a multiple resistance strains patients. Uh, patients being exposed to lamivudine mono, adefovir mono, entecavir mono, they develop resistance to many, many drugs. So in these very few selected patients, we really should use the best drugs available in combination. Finally, there is another type of combination. We could be combination not of two nukes, but combination of one nuke and take away or turn off over plus peg interferon. So uh, the question is, why not using a combination from the beginning? Because we know that you know, uh, and take away and turn off over are working very well as a monotherapy, but you need a very long-term treatment. 20 years, 30 years, maybe if we use a de novo combo PEG plus nuke, you can reduce the duration of therapy. Uh, actually, there are no studies available suggesting that this is the case. Uh, however, there are many ongoing studies 
looking specifically at this issue. So within one year, maybe two years, this data will be available. So maybe in the future, maybe in some patients, a de novo combination of NUC plus PEG will be used, but not today, not in clinical practice. The other possibility is to uh, try to use a combination with interferon, not in naive patients, but in patients on long-term intake, a bit enough or I mean, long-term responding to a nuke. They do very well, no complications, undetectable viremia, normal transaminase, but S antigen levels remain high, which means no chance to stop therapy. So there is a rationale to use PEG interferon, either add-on or some switch eventually in this patient to reduce S antigen levels. Many studies have shown that decline of S antigen levels on PEG are much, uh, is, much, is greater than on monotherapy with nuke. However, again, we need some clinical trials to show that this is really effective, is really worthwhile and cost effective. So in clinical practice, don't use this combination of PEG on the top of nuke responder patients, but within one or two years, many new studies will be available. So um, the last situation is when you start with PEG and you have a partial response to PEG monotherapy, either E positive or E antigen negative, and think about using a nuke. Uh, the rationale is that I leave, I continue PEG therapy and add on a nuke using the antiviral potency of a nuke, but leaving the immunomodulatory properties of PEG. Again, this is a strong rationale, a strong uh, clinical rationale, biological rationale, but there are no studies suggesting that this is worthwhile and cost effective. So again, uh, wait for clinical trials. Don't use this rescue with combo. If you want to do a rescue, do with a single nuke, either in take of your monotherapy, stop, uh, PEG, but don't use a combination. So overall, I think there is a little room for combination, either PEG plus nuke or two nukes together uh, for the time being. But again, many new studies will be available next two years. So within two years, we might have to be back at this meeting, September 2014, and uh, probably have new data. And for some patients, probably a combination uh, will be probably the best strategy.